So I got my new 3D printer, the Anycubic Cobra S1 combo, about a couple months ago. And now that I have a little bit over a hundred hours on it, I thought it might be a good place to give you a little bit of a review. So hopefully it can help you decide should this be your next printer or should it be something else. Before we get into the printer, I do want to say that I did have to part ways with my very own money to get this. I wasn't sponsored to make this video and I'm not paid to say anything and I did not get this printer sent for free. Although I'm not sponsored, I do have an affiliate code for Anycubic, which is Apu Prints. And you can use that if you're buying anything off their website and you get an extra 20 euro discount. And it also helps support the channel. So feel free to use that if you decide to grab anything from their store. Okay, but before we get into my printer, I think it's good if we take a look into what they promise in their website. So of course the first thing when you go into the website is the price. Right now the printer is 549 euros and you can get an extra 20 euros off with a free gift and the code is automatically there so you don't have to do anything to get it. The main selling points of the printer are of course 4 or even 8 color printing with the multi-filament system. Uh, you can dry and print at the same time. It supports all the major filaments. The build volume is 250 by 250 by 250 millimeters and printing speeds up to 600 millimeters per second. So on paper it does look quite similar to some other printers such as the Creality K1C that I also have. Another thing what they promise is the noise during printing is going to be as low as 46 decibels in standard printing mode and quiet as low as 44 decibels. But before we get into the noise of the printer, I think this is a good place to start. Unboxing and starting to print. They promise that you can get to printing in 15 minutes and according to my experience, it's not too far off the truth. So of course, after you take off the accessories and the printer from the package, you just undo a couple screws and plug in the tubes for the multi-filament system and you're basically done with the physical setup and then you just calibrate and the calibration is just a pop-up when you first start the printer. So it's not difficult to do and the calibration, if you don't take that time into account, I think it was about 15 minutes. So I don't think the promise of 15 minutes is too far off. And of course my first print was a Benchy. Um, the Benchy, it came out good. No issues here. This is done with the included PLA filament and with the included file. Um, yeah, it came out good, no complaints here. I think it's the uh, easiest if we compare positives and negatives that I have uh, about the printer itself. So first off, let's start off with the positives. And right off the start, everybody can see the price is really good for a multi-filament system and the printer. I, I bought it for 470 euros, which already is cheap but you could have picked it up for 459 euros during their 10 year anniversary or if you for example used my code you could have picked it up for 439 which is just crazy at this price point it's really difficult to even find an enclosed printer but you get an enclosed printer and multi-filament system with drying in the same package for less than 500 and even if it was 500 it's still a really good deal for comparison, my Creality K1C, which on paper is really similar, cost me about 600 euros. And if I wanted a multi-filament system, which the default one, if I remember correctly, 
is not a drying one uh that would have been an extra 350 euros meaning the total would have been 950 more than double than what it was for this during the 10 year anniversary so yeah, if we further compare it to the K1C, the print quality is basically identical with both of these printers. Only thing that's a little bit different is the overhangs, which I do think the K1C handles a little bit better than the Anycubic one, but it's not anything major. Just that in some cases you might need supports a little bit earlier with the Anycubic one. Then another positive thing is the multi-filament system itself it comes with drying like i said most of the multi-filament systems at least the default ones that i've seen they come with no drying during printing and even even there are dryers specifically designed for those multi-filament systems that you need to separately purchase but this comes with drying and you can dry four filaments at the same time and print so that's a really good plus them there's the noise and the Anycubic might be even quieter than my K1C while printing. So of course it's not whisper quiet. The noise of the printer is basically the same as someone talking in the room. So if you have headphones it shouldn't be a problem if you're in the same room. And next thing, it was really easy to set up and for me I haven't done anything else other than use the lubricant that was included in the box to put on the axis and that's all the maintenance I've done so far. I've had zero issues, zero modifications needed, so everything works right out of the box and that's great. Uh, for me also there hasn't been any real failed prints. The only thing I remember is I ran out of filament one time and it stopped and after reloading the filament it just continued where it left off. Now we can talk about the negative things about the printer. While I do like the multi-filament system I have two issues with it. First comes the noise. While the printer itself it's not loud there is this little whine that the dryer makes when you turn it on and we can listen to it together. So it makes this wine that is noticeable, but again, with headphones on, it's not too bad. And actually, I don't even notice it when I'm listening to anything on my headphones. And these are not noise cancelling or anything, so not that big of a deal. But if you're running multiple of these in the same room and you want to be in, be in the same room with the printers, that might be a little bit of an, of an issue. The second thing that I had with this a couple times is the filament has gotten stuck. Actually, it's two times. First time I, I thought I did something wrong, or maybe I did. But when you put the filament inside the filament guide, sometimes maybe you insert it the wrong angle or the filament is too bent or not sharp enough or something. And the filament doesn't feed through the back like it should but it comes out the bottom of the of the printer inside the plastics to fix that you can just pull the filament out and reinsert the filament and usually it does go through properly then there's the software i've seen a couple complaints online about the software and i think most of them are related to some older versions of the slicer the current version for me has been working perfectly it's based on the orca slicer uh, like most of them so it's uh, familiar and everything is like in the other slicers and everything works the same so I don't think that's the issue at least not anymore but the phone app is a little bit slow and not too feature packed or as advanced as the other manufacturers phone apps so if you're using your phone to print instead of your computer then that might be something to consider other than that, I don't think I have any other negative things to say about the printer itself. As I said, I have had zero actual issues while using the printer. So maybe one thing worth mentioning is some people have received their printer and have had some issues. But from what I've seen, most of them have gotten help from support and gotten replacement parts or even the whole printer replaced. So from what I've seen, most of the problems have been solved by Anycubic. So I, I do think that Anycubic is handling most of these issues like they should. 
so I wouldn't worry about it too much. So yeah, I think that's all the negatives I have to say. I cannot think of anything, even even those were quite difficult to come up with because like I said, I've had such a good experience with mine, so I'm really happy with it. So who should buy this or should you even consider it? Well, I think this printer is mostly for the people who just want a all-in-one system that they don't need to tinker with. You can just start using it straight out of the box without needing to change any parts or work on anything. I think this is great for people who are getting into printing. This is easy to use, everything works. The actual UI, which I did not talk about earlier, is, is also easy to use. And everything is just very beginner friendly as well. So for me, I'm definitely going to keep this. I'm definitely going to keep printing with it. So yes, I definitely think it's worth considering and it's worth buying. I don't think you're going to be unhappy with your purchase if you decide to get one. So hopefully this, this video helped you with your decision on what printer to get. And if you decide to get anything from the Anycubic store, this printer or something else, you can use the links below to support my channel and also you can use the code Apple Prints for 20 euros off from your order. So yeah, leave a comment on what do you think about the printer and if you're deciding whether to get this or, or not, uh, you can also leave a question and I'll try to answer it as quickly as possible. Other than that, uh, like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.